President Trump brought up what he calls the unfairness of the fake media, most prominently a lack of coverage of his unproven and unverified charges that former Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter have received millions of dollars in corrupt payments from a Russian oligarch and a Chinese billionaire. Are you ready for some <clears throat> tough questions? You're going to be fair. Are you I'm going to be fair. Just be fair. But last time, I remember you saying to me, bring it on, bring it on. No, no I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for fairness. That's all. You're going to get fairness. I wish you would interview Joe Biden like you interview me. It would be so good. You know what? You the, like this, the, I thought. I thought you liked it. I don't mind sparring. it. I don't mind it. But when I watch him walk out of a store, and he's walking with a ice cream, and the question the media asks him, what kind of ice cream, what flavor ice cream do you have? <laughs> and he's in the midst of a scandal. He's not. And he's taking... He's not. Of course not. he is, no. Leslie. Come on. Of course he is. Of course he is, no. Leslie. Come on. Of course he is. You know, See that? Have the Senate so you're like, you're like, you're like big tech. You're protecting him, and everyone is, except for yeah, but you're some exact, people. You're, you're taking something that was investigated Leslie, by let, a let Republican ask, let ask, committee. You think it's Senate. okay for the mayor of Moscow's wife to give him millions and millions of dollars, three and a half million dollars, to give his family three and a half? Do you think it's okay for Hunter Biden to say, to say that we're giving we're giving the big guy ten percent of this massive amount of money they're taking in? Do you think it's okay for all of these horrible things that you've seen where they're getting hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars, where China gives them a billion and a half dollars to manage the family? You know, this is 60 Minutes, and we can't put on things we can't no, verify. You won't put it on because it's bad for Biden. We can't Look, put on you. things we can't verify. Leslie. You know what you told me a long time ago when I asked why you keep saying fake in the media? Yeah. You said to me, I say that because I need to dis, uh, discredit you so that when you say negative things about me, no one will believe you. I don't have to discredit you. But that's what you've you told me. You've discredited yourself. You told me that. Leslie, you've discredited yourself. When you say that you're not going to cover Biden, you're going to ask him what flavor ice cream he has, okay? That's not Instead of mean. why did Hunter get three and a half million dollars from Moscow? Instead of why is an energy company paying your son, $183,000 a month or whatever they're paying him, and he has no experience in energy. You know, you discredit yourself. I don't have to discredit so, you. So this story about Hunter and his laptop, some repair shop found it. The source is uh, Steve Bannon and Rudy Giuliani. I don't know anything about that. I just know it's a laptop and, and they haven't. And you're making this one of the hottest, most important issues in your rallies. It's a very important issue to find out whether or not a man's corrupt who's running for president, who's accepted money from China and from Ukraine and from Russia. All these yeah, things I think that's have an been important investigated issue. and discussed. It's right. incredible the way you can try and say this and sit there and look me in the eye and say it. A he accepted committee. money, his family, from Russia, from Ukraine, from China, and from other places. His brother, who didn't have experience, became a big builder in Iraq without experience. Take a look at what's going on, Leslie. And then you say how that shouldn't be discussed. I'm saying... It's the biggest scandal out there, Leslie, and you don't cover it. Because it can't be verified. You want to talk I'm about insignificant you. things. I'm telling you... Of course it can be verified. Excuse we, me, we they found the laptop, it. Leslie. It Leslie. can't be verified. Why can't be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? The intelligence community warned the Trump White House, and apparently, according to the Post and the Times, the national security advisor warned the president personally out loud that what Giuliani was bringing home about Biden was a Russian op. Despite those warnings, the president, regardless, is promoting it. Posing with the headline about the bogus story in the Oval Office after he was warned that what Giuliani is doing with that story and all the other stuff related to it is a Russian intelligence operation. NBC News, CNN and the Associated Press all now reporting that this junk about Biden that Giuliani got printed in The New York Post, that the president has been promoting. It's all now under investigation as potentially part of a hostile foreign influence operation illegally targeting our election. Second verse, same as the first. 
Only this time, the collusion with the hostile foreign power is just out loud in the open since he thinks no one will do anything about it. Does it surprise you at all that this information Rudy Giuliani is peddling uh, very well could be connected to some sort of Russian government disinformation campaign? Well, we know that this whole uh, smear on Joe Biden uh, comes from the Kremlin. Uh, that's been clear for well over a year now that they've been pushing this uh, false narrative about the vice president and his son. Uh, but clearly, the origins of this whole uh, smear uh, are from the Kremlin. And the president is only too happy to have Kremlin help in, in trying to amplify it. Take a look at this picture of the president in the old o Oval Office holding up a copy of the New York Post touting this conspiracy theory. Uh, it's made its way all the way to the commander in chief uh, with a big smile on his face. Yes. Uh, well, look, uh, I, I, you know, I think we know who the driving force behind this smear has been all along, and it's been uh, the president and the Kremlin. Uh, and there it is in the Oval Office, another wonderful propaganda coup for Vladimir Putin, seeing the president of the United States holding up a newspaper promoting Kremlin propaganda. It's really incredible. This is the story of Donald Trump, uh, a willingness to undermine our own elections. President Trump has highlighted a report by the New York Post about Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son. There are major questions about the origins and the accuracy of that story. And today we learn more about concerns expressed by the president's most senior advisors, that the president's personal attorney was peddling Russian disinformation. Former senior intelligence official tells me that President Trump was warned Giuliani's information was likely Russian disinformation by National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, CIA Director Gina Haspel, Director of National Intelligence Joe McGuire, White House Counsel Pat Cipollone, Attorney General Bill Barr, all told the president not to trust Giuliani. And this was first reported, Judy, by The Washington Post. So the New York Post reported alleged that Hunter Biden introduced his father to a Burisma executive in 2015. And this would go against Joe and Hunter Biden claims that they never discussed Hunter's overseas business. This was brought up again and again by President Trump, including this morning in Florida. He's like a vacuum cleaner. He follows his father around collecting. What a disgrace. It's a crime family. It's not every day where you see a headline like uh, former New York City mayor. The U.S. intelligence agencies believed that Rudy Giuliani was being worked over by Russian uh, intelligence assets as a, a conduit to feed misinformation to the president of the United States. When you look at this uh, computer uh, store owner in Delaware who allegedly received Hunter Biden's laptop, that is more in line with the, when you think about somebody who's a useful idiot. That's kind of the entry point that is kind of, a, again, a classic indicator of the potential uh, presence of disinformation. Right wing media has been focused on Hunter Biden. This laptop uh, that intelligence mm -hmm. officials have warned is likely Russian disinformation. Law enforcement is actively investigating whether the alleged Hunter Biden emails are linked to any foreign intel ops. The story is preposterous. So we're supposed to believe that Hunter Biden in a drunken stupor dropped off his laptop in, I guess, apparently QAnon repair office. Super, spread, super spreader events and giving Russian disinformation, spreading Russian disinformation. Disinformation that he knows to be fabricated and supplied by a foreign intel. Despite the warning, he's still doing it. You have said this entire thing is so obviously a Russian plot. It's sort of a, a crazy quilt at this point, uh, uh, which has all the hallmarks of, of, of Russian disinformation. That said, it, it wasn't for lack of trying. Rudy basically functioning as a Russian asset by pushing Russian disinformation. CNN reported on Friday that U.S. authorities are seeing if those emails we just talked about are connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Huh. The Post claimed that the emails were found <laughs> on a laptop computer that was brought to a repair it's shop. A There's a lot closer. about this story that does not add up. For all we know, these emails are made up, or maybe some are real and others are fakes. We don't know. But we do know that this is a classic example of the right-wing media machine. <sighs> These people are so shameless. They know they're being used by liars in the Democratic Party and the so-called intel community, and they just mouth the words anyway. They say whatever they're told to say. Has Twitter failed in setting themselves up in the past as the judge of what can go out there? And I would say, yes, <clears throat> you have. You failed 
when you threw the New York Post off of Twitter for talking about Hunter Biden's emails, and it turned out that was a real story. Right. You failed. Big Tech censored the New York Post on the basis that it was Russian disinformation. Joe Biden did the same. On the debate stage, citing 50 former intelligence officials, all of them liars, Biden again called the whole laptop story Russian disinformation. We are in a situation where we have foreign company, countries trying to interfere in the outcome of our election. His old, own national security advisor told him that what is happening with his buddy, well, I, won't, I, should, well, I will, his buddy, Rudy Giuliani, he's being used as a Russian pawn. He's being fed information that is Russian, that is not true. I didn't trust the FBI enough to make a copy of the drive and just put it off site. That way, if I disappeared, if the FBI threw me in a hole somewhere, then my friend would hand deliver this drive to Rudy Giuliani. The reason why Rudy Giuliani is because during the summer of 2019, he was in the Ukraine researching exactly what I was sitting on. I chose Rudy as to be my, my safety net. Should something happen to me, my friend would reach out with a copy of the drive. So Politico just published quite the bombshell. Turns out the emails from Hunter Biden's laptop were authenticated. Yeah, imagine that. Authenticating things we already knew to be true. So what are you gonna tell us next? Hunter likes blow and hookers? <laughs> a person who had independent access to Hunter Biden's emails confirms two of the emails the Post published, including one about a potential deal with China with the line, 10 held by H for the big guy. That is Joe Biden. Former business partner, Tody Bobolinsky, love that name. Uh, he confirmed them a forever ago. And then it has 10% for the big guy held by H. I 1,000% sit here and know that the big guy is referencing Joe Biden. Um, it's, that's crystal clear to me because I lived it. The emails released by the Swedish government also match emails from the laptop. I know. Who knew Sweden had a government? <laughs> Hunter Biden's story is Russian disinfo, dozens of former Intel officials say. Well, either they were dupes or they were traitors. criminal and the media for not reporting it. Answer this question. What is was the it question? Was the it press? appropriate to bury the Hunter Biden? You're talking about the press doing the, that? He's saying that's what they did and that is what they did. They buried the Hunter Biden story before the election because they were like, we can't risk having the election thrown to Trump. We'll tell them after the election. Well, and, and we know for a fact that that's what they did? Of course. You no, don't but follow I mean, this. Saying you you gotta... know for a fact that that's what they did? I don't know what they did. I know, because you only watch MSNBC. No, that's not true. That's not true. Well, then you would know about this. I... Go down the rabbit hole of how deeply creepy the suppression of that whole yeah. enterprise was. The New York Post was not allowed to tweet anything for right. weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is bonkers. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about it now? I, the fact that the media in big tech were involved, that's yeah. worthy of an investigation in itself. Like, shouldn't we ask, like, how did the big tech get involved in this? Weeks before the 2020 election, the FBI pressured social media companies to kill the story of Hunter Biden's laptop. Why? because that was a story that might have prevented Joe Biden from becoming president. That happened. And we know this not because the New York Times investigated it. We know this instead because Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook blithely admitted it, almost parenthetically, during an interview with Joe Rogan. There was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story, the New yeah, York Post. Yeah, we had that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically, the background here is the FBI, I think, basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team, and was like, hey, um, just so you know, like, you should be on high alert. There was, the, we, we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have 
it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of, of um, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. Now, there's some rewriting of history going on in which some are claiming, some at Facebook are claiming, actually, that the visit from the FBI had nothing to do with the Hunter Biden laptop. But the answer you just saw was in response to a question about the laptop and the censorship of it. And the answer was Russian propaganda. Zuckerberg confirmed that the FBI didn't put any of these warnings about Russian disinformation or propaganda in writing. Oh, of course they didn't. (laughs) Nothing in writing. And that makes sense. If you're the FBI, you wouldn't want to put that in writing because you were, of course, lying. At the moment, the FBI was warning Facebook about a propaganda dump that obviously would include Hunter Biden's laptop. They had Hunter Biden's laptop in their possession. So they knew perfectly well it was authentic, as anyone who looks at it does. So on October 14th, the Facebook communications official and former Democratic Party operative called Andy Stone claimed that Facebook was censoring this story because of Facebook's, quote, standard process to reduce the spread of misinformation. You make just one reference to it in the book. Yeah. Is that laptop yours? Uh, it's, it, you don't need the laptop. You got a book. <laughs> you got the book. It's all in the book. And I don't know. I, I truly... The, you don't know. The serious answer is that I truly do not know the answer to that. Did you leave a, a laptop with a repairman not in that Wilmington? Not, not that, that you remember. remember. No. But whether or not um, somebody has my laptop, whether or not uh, it was I, uh, my was hacked, whether or not there exists a laptop at all, I truly don't know. Are you missing a laptop? Not that I know of. Have you ever given your father money from any of your no. business ventures? No. Nothing? Nothing. Ever. Not a nickel? Not a nickel. Directly or indirectly? Directly or indirectly. Not a nickel ever. 100%. No. Never. you say you don't know. Now look, I really don't know. And the fact of the matter is it's a red herring. It is absolutely red herring. But I am absolutely, um, I think, within my, my rights to question anything that comes from the, uh, from the desk of Rudy Giuliani. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie when Rudy Giuliani shared that intel from Ukraine. Mr. Secretary, who's Nina Jankowitz? She is the executive director of the disinformation governance. And this is, is this the same individual who said the dossier was real and the Hunter Biden laptop story was false? Is that the individual who's now running the disinformation governance board? Uh, I'm not familiar with those statements. Been reported widely. When the department picked her, did, did it know that she had said that Mr. Hunter Biden's laptop is Russian disinformation? Um, Senator, uh, let me let me uh, repeat myself and add one uh, other fact. I was not aware of that. Demon claims of main government that came from the Russians, appealing to folks in QAnon. He won't disavow them. Let me die, but let me die. That conspiracy got it from Vatican. This looks like Russian intelligence. This walks like Russian intelligence. This talks like Russian intelligence. This effort by Rudy Giuliani and the New York Post and and Steve Bannon to cook up uh, supposed dirt on Joe Biden looks like a classic Russian playbook disinformation campaign. Ooh, you lied, Jeremy Bash. You lied. You knew it was a lie when you said it. There was zero evidence of that. And you and a bunch of other creeps in the intel community having spent decades trying to subvert foreign elections, tried to subvert ours, and it looks like you did. Do you believe the recent leak of material allegedly from Hunter's computer is part of a Russian disinformation campaign? Giuliani was being fed disinformation from the Russians. And we also know that Putin is trying very hard to spread disinformation about Joe Biden. And so when you put the combination of Russia, Giuliani, the president together, 
Um, it's just what it is. It's a smear campaign. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about? China. I have not had it. The only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. So what about the Americans who really today only want me to ask you about Hunter Biden's laptop? How are you going to get them to see that you are fighting for them when they're so By dead the way, set against you? It's, it's, there's nothing to any of that. Nothing to any of that. It's all a smear. Every major outfit, every serious investigator has pointed out that this is a smear. This is classic Trump. We have four days left, and all of a sudden there's a laptop. And you may, you may recall, there's also talk about four months before there was a similar thing that somebody had, allegedly. There's overwhelming evidence that from the intelligence community that the Russians are engaged. Totally discredited. And by the way, well, wait, he didn't our, get three and a half million dollars, Joe? Mr. Vice He got three and a half President. million dollars. It is not true. Oh, no, my job. son did nothing wrong at Burisma. I think he did. And Mr. President, the only guy that let him answer. Something. He doesn't want to let me answer because he knows I have the truth. His, his position has been totally, thoroughly discredited. By who? In the media. Incriminating evidence allegedly found on a laptop belonging to Biden. Some sort of Russian, Russian disinformation, disinformation campaign. campaign. It's a lie. This lacks credibility. The fact that it appeared in the New York Post. The only place low enough to put this orphan bastard story in print. Obvious disinformation. It is so obviously a Russian operation. So obviously disinformation. So so obviously a Russian plot. Tell me why it's so obviously a Russian plot to you. This is uh, just classic textbook Soviet Russian tradecraft at work. Right, exactly. And this is classic, very classic uh, Russian disinformation tactic. Your classic disinformation campaign. This is classic Trump. We shouldn't look at it as anything other than a Russian disinformation operation. 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 Known Kremlin disinformation. Russians would be my number one guess. Obviously Russia. Russian disinformation operation. Russia disinformation pushing russian disinformation it does bear the hallmarks of russian disinformation hunter biden's story is russian disinfo hunter biden's laptop looks like it's tied to vladimir putin in moscow are you missing a laptop not that i know of what this whole operation looks right out of the kremlin playbook the playbook of russian disinformation russian disinformation put into the haystack russian disinfo sounds like bullshit i mean who takes a laptop with their most personal information drops it off and never comes back for it Russian plan. Russian uh, disinformation. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend Rudy Gianni. A Russian disinformation campaign. Putin is trying very hard to spread disinformation about Joe Biden. So Whether could have been yours. Of course, certainly. History will expose you all as fools and useful idiots for the Russians. 50 former intelligence officials signed on to a letter yesterday saying that the New York Post story about Hunter Biden's emails has all of the classic earmarks of a Russian disinformation campaign. You don't trust anything that he's telling you. This is Russian disinformation. Russian disinformation meant to harm our democracy. Altered or fake, unverified emails. The story did not quite land due to the lack of verification. Listen, what can't be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? Well, because it can't be verified. I don't even want to report no, this. Well, this is the one of the well, most powerful no, families Liz, in Washington. Liz, I'm a journalist. Okay, I would love if you guys would start doing that verification. No, we're not going to do your work for you. It's yeah, a journalist. Contrary. Job. Experts say the emails cannot be authenticated. Not really stories. Just pure distractions. No serious journalist should fall for it. It's a journalist's Contrary job to, to, to find out if this is verified. The bottom line, mainstream media is not reporting on this story because we can't authenticate this material. Biden emails finally authenticated according to the New York Times. The Hunter Biden laptop material is genuine. Those emails were obtained by the New York Times from a cache of files that appears to have come from a laptop abandoned by Mr. Biden in a Delaware repair shop. The email and others in the cache were authenticated by people familiar with them and with the investigation. The New York Times has authenticated emails that appear to have come from a laptop abandoned by Hunter Biden in Delaware. Um, the president previously said that the New York Post story about this was a bunch of garbage and that it was a Russian plant. Does he stand by that assessment? I pointed the Department of Justice and also to Hunter Biden's representatives. He doesn't work in the government. So just for old time's sake, let's look back at how the compliant media treated this story when it first came out. First, CNN, how the newest anti-Biden narrative was manufactured. 
Why haven't you seen any stories from NPR about the New York Post Hunter Biden story? Well, we don't want to waste our time on stories that are not really stories. Ignore that story and focus instead on a legally blind transgendered pony who makes a living doing porn. <laughs> Pretty good stuff, by the way. Here's MSNBC. Why does Rudy Giuliani have access to peddle this disinformation repeatedly? This is not censorship. Facebook is under no obligation to allow a disputed report that appears to contain disinformation. And Joy Reid tweets, good for Joe Biden. No need to dignify a Russian hatchet job. We're not doing emails again, America. Look at all these jackasses. David Frum, Max Boot, David Korn, Ben Rhodes, Tommy Veter. Remember Evan McMullen? He doesn't. The list, the list of dolts goes on and on. Foreign interference in our elections. Of course, the irony is the laptop showed that foreign companies and governments had been paying the Biden family in exchange for changing U.S. policy toward those countries, selling out our nation for cash. How does this feel to have the New York Times um, admit that you were right all along? It's kind of delicious to see them sort of squirming around trying to admit the obvious. But, you know, if you're a reader of the New York Post or a viewer of Fox News, you knew this 16 months ago. You didn't need the great New York Times to tell you that it was true right. and that they'd authenticated the emails. We already did that.